Hey everyone, my name is Nika and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys this cool free tool called Color Matcher, one of the assistive tools within the designs.ai suite. According to the designs.ai website, Color Matcher helps businesses generate thousands of beautiful color palettes easily, which is super helpful for designers, marketers, business owners, agencies, you name it. Okay, let's check it out. First of all, to access Color Matcher, you either have to go through the designs.ai website or you can place designs.ai slash colors on your browser. Once the page is loaded, the first thing you'll see is a dashboard full of different ready to use color palettes. If you just hover over any of the colors, you can copy paste the hex code easily. If you hover over palettes here on the right hand side, you can find lots of really cool palettes grouped by either color or theme. So if you want a palette that's mostly green, click green to find them. And if you want a color palette in time for Christmas, just click Christmas on the dropdown. You'll also notice that there are all these little buttons at the bottom of each color palette box. Each one is for a different feature of Color Matcher, but suited to the specific color palette that's in the box. This button right here, for example, is for text. This wheel is to show the color wheel placement of the specific color palette. This half moon is for the contrast checker. The disappearing box is for gradients and the heart is for saving color palettes. You can actually save a lot of different color palettes. Like for example, I like this one and this one. So once you like them, they'll appear on the right over here. All right, so now let's check out the different features of Color Matcher. The first cool feature is text. Color Matcher shows you different combinations of background and text color and gives you a score based on readability and contrast. The higher the score, the better. Again, if you want to save the hex codes, just hover over the box and click to copy. The next feature is the color wheel. Over here, you'll see where the different colors land on the wheel and below you'll see their codes. Color wheel gives you the option to see your colors codes in RGB, HSV, and CMYK. RGB is generally used for digital material. HSV is for graphics and paint programs and CMYK is best for print. On the left-hand side, you'll also see a bunch of different color combinations based on color theory. Clicking each one will give you different color palettes based on each scheme. You can drag the black circle around to find your desired color palette. If you're feeling more adventurous, you can always click custom and then drag and drop to whatever you feel looks best. The next is the contrast compliance checker. This one tests how readable text might be on your materials. The left over here shows the grading criteria. So if it has a score of seven and above, it's really, really good. Five and above, it's good. Three and above is like, mm, okay, sure. And three and below is a failing mark. Here in the matrix, you'll see that only two out of 12 pass the contrast compliance test. That means they're readable and contrasted enough. The next feature is gradients. This one is fairly simple. It just generates different gradients based on your color palette. You can move the wheel around on the right hand side to adjust the direction of your gradients. Then, once you've found something you like, just hover over and either click the download button or save the hex codes. There are two really cool additional features that I wanna show you guys. This one is for image overlay. Basically, you just upload any picture you want and the system generates what it would look like with a bunch of different overlays. Then, same thing, if you want to save the picture with the overlay, just hover over and click the download button. Last but not the least, my favorite feature, the image color extractor. You just drag and drop any image you want and it'll give you the color palette used. It's super useful if you want to make all your graphics the same color or if you want to match your poster to your picture. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool tools on the web. Bye.